Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. Okay, sorry I had to stop here, but I want to make sure I'm getting everything, and I want to pay attention to it and not have to rush. Fight with the thief. So now, while Luigi's going to tell us about the fight he suddenly remembered, because he didn't really tell us about this in the last one. He totally lied. Totally biffed it. I don't know. I don't want to take anything he says like as truth right now, because I'm so utterly suspicious of him. Indeed, it's true that I looked away from the door for a brief moment. However, look at me cannot be so easily discombobulated. I, I love that word. Unfortunately, the thief grabbed a weapon from the side and rendered me senseless. A true gentleman fights only with his own fist, but they were not enough. His first blow struck true. Bam! And that's all she wrote. Hmm. That seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Hmm, I'm gonna have to press everything, because there's really not too much in there that stood out to me. So in the end, you did catch a glimpse of Master Mask? Correct. It was during his third crime that he struck me from behind. Sounds gross. It seems that my memory has become a tad jumbled, so to speak. Oh, you're gonna blame that on it now, are you? Okay, of course. Hmm, well, that's certainly understandable. I, myself, always get confused about which testimony goes with which case. Um... Uh, isn't that kind of bad? Aren't you supposed to be a really good judge? You know, Judge Judy would not do that. <laughs> that can't be good. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, well. All right, come on, Cyclops. I'm ready for you. Fight with the thief. Indeed, it's true that I looked away from the door for a brief moment. Man, this music, this is so damn good, you guys. Jeez. So why did you look away from the door anyway? Yeah, did something happen? In addition to the camera, I had prepared a variety of other senses as well. Okay, oh. The alarm on one of those had gone off, so I had to check the data. That's why I went to the computer. Elegantly, of course. So, you were momentarily vulnerable when you were working on the computer? What should I do? Should I ask some more questions? Hmm... About the sensor, about the computer... Um... Can I ask about what kind of things he had in place? What kind of sensors are you talking about? There are other places in the basement that someone could enter and exit from. There are air conditioner ducts, sewer pipes, and a cat door as well. A cat door? Who's gonna fit through that? I hooked up heat detecting infrared and ultraviolet sensors to each of them. That's a lot of hardware. Was it all yours? Lordly Taylor Department Store was kind enough to provide the monitoring hardware. Naturally, the security camera that took the photo belongs to them as well. In other words, he couldn't have rigged the equipment, huh? <laughs> Has that cleared up any doubts you had about me, Sir Lawyer? I guess. However, Luke Apney cannot be so easily discombobulated. Tell me about that. Um, what does that mean, discombobulated? Oh, Phoenix, come on, man. Hmm. Young people these days, they really irritate me. Yeah, discombobulated is like an old person's word. That's why I like it. They allow perfectly good old words to die until everyone forgets what they mean. Man, I'm the judge today. <laughs> Get off my lawn, you kids. Sorry, but what exactly does it mean anyway? Now I've forgotten. What was I saying? Oh. Okay, hopefully that's not me. Oh god, it might be. I'm <laughs> sorry if it is. Jeez, it's better than old people who forget what they were saying five seconds ago. Look, it's not easy to be old. Well, it looks like we've cleared that up. You can go on with your testimony. Oh, can I? Thanks. Unfortunately, the thief grabbed a weapon from the side and rendered me senseless. Okay. What do you mean by weapon from the side? Naturally, that thief had no idea that I, Luke Abney, was hiding in the area. He grabbed the sword from the statue that was standing by the door to the warehouse. Sword? You mean the sword that was all twisted like a tree branch? Correct. Fortunately for me, the blade was not sharp. Okay, so he is talking about the Shichisito. So the thief armed himself with a sword. And what about yourself, witness? No, he said he didn't. True gentleman fights only with his own fist, but they were not enough. Hmm. Alright. You had that much faith in your own fighting abilities? But of course, in college, I was the second in charge of the boxing club. Yeah, but what good is that going to do you against a sword? Probably not much. I'm sorry if I failed to find that appropriately impressive. However, my opponent in the ring this time was my arch nemesis, Mask Demask. 
guy's a real piece of work. Yeah, no shit, Phoenix. His first blow struck true. Bam, and that's all she wrote. Was that really enough, though, to bend the sword? What, is your head made of lead or something? Can you tell us a little more about what happened? My opponent was both powerful and vicious. You might say he was powerishous. Wait a minute, didn't we say at one point that, like, Ron Delight looked way too weak to, like, even swing a punch? We did see that, didn't we? How in the world did he get that giant sword off the statue and then hit him hard enough to dent him with it? Like, that's what I would like to know. Is that something we can bring up now? Power issues. I assumed the Admi fighting stance, but a sudden flash of light blinded me. That, of course, was checkmate. My opponent had bested me. I just find it hard to believe that he got bested by somebody that we keep saying looks like a complete wimp. Hmm... At me fighting style? You were blinded? Blinded by the light. Well, now I kind of want to know about this, to be honest. It doesn't seem like we'll get a penalty for asking. What is this at me fighting style? I'm sorry, but that's a trade secret. I really can't say any more. But... I suppose I can tell you if I absolutely must. The main thing is to put your back to the wall. That way no one can get behind you. What? Wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. That's it? That's the at me fighting style? Seems a bit stupid. <laughs> you know, like him. What about that testimony? Was it a waste of time? Ooh, if they're giving me this prompt, yeah, I think I want to hear more about this, maybe. Mmm. Alright, let's try it. Let's see where this leads. Of course it's important, we've learned the detective's secret technique after all. Yes, indeed. I'll remember to use it if I ever take a walk alone late at night. I don't think anyone's gonna help, like, get you in trouble. Why the heck is he eyeballing me like that? It's creeping me out. Maybe he's sweet on you. Or maybe he thinks you're gonna rob him. One or the other. Now that witness, we'll go ahead and add that secret information to your official testimony. Alright. Put my back to the wall to fight, but the thief's blow landed upon my third eye. Wait, no, wait, nuh-uh. Wait. Hang on. There's something real weird about this. Yeah, okay, blow to the back of the head. That's exact- I knew there was something weird about him saying he was backed into a corner. He already said that he got a blow to the back of the head because he was looking at the computer. So how did he use the fighting style that he just said? If he was against the wall, it doesn't- Okay, I'm just presenting it then. Thank God I looked. I knew something was wrong there. Detective Abney, your testimony is crumbling like a house of cards. What fun this is, Sir Lawyer. It is truly a pleasure to cross swords with you. Ew, that sounds gross. That sounds something we'd find on Tumblr. By the way, I looked on Tumblr for that uh, <laughs> Luke at me and, and Gatto thing. Yeah, I couldn't find anything. That was sad. Well, no, okay, maybe I wasn't sad. And now, once again, you have thrown down the gauntlet at my armored feet. I believe this is what you said yesterday. No, the coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with the grizzly might be right, because he was using the computer. Exactly. Why the heck you lie? Come on, Pinocchio, why the hell are you putting me through this? From behind, huh? <laughs> Judge is interested now. But just now you testified that he struck you on the forehead. Right, that's where the third eye is. I hardly think you could forget where you were hit on the head. Oh, please. He's probably going to spin this as like, Oh, I got a concussion, so I don't know. Oh, it seems I've made another mistake. Yeah, you sure did. For someone that's so great. Detective Abney, that's not the only strange part of your testimony. What do you mean by that? For example, the very fact that you hid the calling card from the police itself is strange. That's another thing I was thinking about, too. I was wondering when that was going to be brought up. It's almost as if you were afraid they were going to help with security. Ugh. Geniuses such as myself have always been misunderstood. How sad. That's wrong. Oh my god. His voice is a lot deeper than I thought. Did you guys hear that shit? Objection. I don't think I can do a voice that low. <laughs> oh my god. That was the manliest sounding voice I've ever heard. What am I going to do? Oops. I was trying to give him- I was trying to like feel out what kind of voice I could give him and now I, I see that I've missed the mark entirely. That's okay. I missed Mia's entirely as well. But I, I don't like the voice they gave her so I changed it. His is nice though. I just don't think I can replicate it. Oops. 
Two errors human to forgive divine. See, if I do it low, he's gonna sound like the judge, and we definitely don't want that, do we? I'll, I'll work it out. Humans aren't machines. They have souls, feelings. They live, they die, they love, they hate. And yes, they even make mistakes. I'll just try to make him sound as suave as possible. How about that? Hey, hold on. It's not as pretty as that. Whoa! Yo, that Starbucks is looking a bit dark. I think maybe you need to get, like, a different roast. Really? What is it like, then? Yeah, Phoenix, what is it like? You're on spot nail. Always chase a riddle down to the end. That's one of my rules. I have coffee right here, actually, to be fair. I had to go get some after the last episode. This is it. This might just be my chance to turn things around. All right, what are we gonna do, Phoenix? Mr. Wright, what exactly is it that you're asserting? Very well, Your Honor. The defense asserts that... Oh, okay. Mr. Atme is no ace detective. Mr. Atme is a fake. Or Mr. Atme is masked to mask. So, okay, I did for a while, like for a very short bit, think that maybe Atme was masked to mask. Because it just seemed too coincidental that he set up everything to be alone. And that he was hiding things as well. But you know what? Honestly, I'm still not 100% sure about that. Hmm. But it really is bugging me, though. Should I do it? I mean, a fake that... We already know he's no ace detective. A fake? How are we going to prove that, though? Hmm. Are we just going to go with this balls to the wall now? This could be bad. It's all right. If I lose a little bit of health, I'm not worried about it. That was nagging me before. The answer is simple. It's all clear to me now. Detective Luke Atme's true identity is actually mask to mask. Ugh! Oh my god, what was that face? Jesus! He looks just like the the Diamond's prosecutor in Steven Universe. Did you see that? My god. Order, order in the court. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? There are too many unnatural parts to Mr. Atme's story. He says he was hiding at the crime scene, which is why no one ever saw him there. And then, in his last case, he manages to outperform Detective Gumshoe and the entire police force to miraculously retrieve the stolen treasure? Th that's because I analyzed the crime scene data and made an exquisitely elegant deduction. I picked up clues that the police overlooked in order to arrive at a... Mm-mm. You couldn't be that good, especially when you're messing up this bad. Oh, please. The explanation is far simpler than that, Detective Atme. The truth is that you are, in fact, mask to mask. Ugh. I'm gonna post a picture of those two side by side on Twitter so you guys know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen Steven Universe, you're gonna see that I'm right. Looks just like that Zircon attorney. But Mr. Wright, this photo, it clearly shows a mask to mask. Yeah, with a mask and costume. We've been over this like five million times. This has always come up in the other trials with costumes the same way. Just like I said it would. The security camera belongs to Lord the Taylor Department store. He shouldn't have been able to manipulate it. He didn't need to manipulate it. He gained access to the warehouse under the pretense of providing security. Then he simply dressed as the thief and stole the urn. So, the ace detective is actually an ace thief? Is this true, witness? Well, he's not going to admit it. Otherwise, this would be over. And it ain't over yet, I can tell you that much. Oh my gosh, what the hell's happening? He's playing, like, an invisible guitar. Going crazy. Damask's M.O. is pure genius, and so am I. Luke Admi, ace detective. You're very clever to have come to such a conclusion. I am impressed, sir lawyer. What? Witness, you, you're admitting it? Nick, how's, how's your chance? Yeah, time to put the last nail in this guy. Wait, wait, what? He couldn't have just admitted it now? That can't be right. Objection. Whoa. All right there. Oh my, whoa, no! <laughs> what the hell? Goto Blend 102, my personal favorite. Well, then why'd you spill it all over my face? Ew! Oh, it looks like you got pooped on, Phoenix. I'm sorry. What in the hell just happened? Oh my god, <laughs> I need to make that my profile picture. <laughs> that is too much. Mr. Goto! The ace detective is actually an ace thief. I smell a best-selling novel. So publish it, frickin' Cyclops! There's only one problem. It simply isn't true. But Mr. Gatto, Mr. Wright has made some very strong points. I can't believe they're still leaving him like that. Oh my god. <laughs> that is too much. 
I will admit my opponent has woven a compelling narrative out of whole cloth, but it is in fact nothing more than patchwork quilt, Mr. Trite. Is he calling me Trite on purpose? He must be, because it's an insult, he's insulting me. God. If this detective really is the thief, then show us the proof of your claim. Alright. Well, hang on, can I get a towel or something, please? Oh my god, poor Phoenix! But it had better be as hot and as perfect as the coffee dripping down your face. I'm pretty sure this is illegal and I could sue. For personal damages. Man, someone spilled hot coffee on their crotch at McDonald's and they and they sued for like a whole bunch of money. That's it, I'm getting my I'm getting my due. Well, Mr. Wright, don't just stand there. Well, I kinda can't see. I've got like crap all over my face, please. This court would like to see this decisive proof you have quickly. Oh, we're okay now. We gotta tell. Huh? Oh yeah, of course. What's the big rush? Are you alright, Nick? It's just some third degree burns, it's fine. Atme looks pretty rattled right now. Yeah, he wouldn't be if this wasn't the case, huh? I can't believe that that was actually the thing. I was like, nah, that's too obvious, but man, it's probably not gonna be obvious how we spin this, though. I'd like to finish this right now if I can. But can I really do it? Well, there's no way we can finish it on the first court, is there? So that, no, something's gonna happen. Decisive evidence that proves Mr. Luke Atme is in fact masked to mask. We don't have it, do we? I don't think that we do. Treasure exhibit poster, the statue. I mean, we have this, but that doesn't really say anything. Let's look at everything. Blah, blah. No, that really could be mm, camera data. Dennis, blah, blah, blah. No. This is still interesting too. We still haven't seen anything about this. Written with a fountain pen. I don't think we have it. In in my mind. In my mind, I don't I just don't feel like we've got it yet. Hmm. But that just mm, that seems like that's gonna bury us, is it? Well surely we've got another we've got other days to look, so maybe this is what we're gonna lead into. There's no way we can finish it now. I I've got nothing. Ha! <laughs> Just what I thought. A man has to hold his head up high, no matter how bad things get, after all. Ugh! I see. I thought perhaps you had some evidence to back up your assertion. This is no good. I've got to stay on the attack. Did I do something wrong? I might have done. I'll never get another chance to prove that this guy is the thief. Don't give up, Nick. Think harder and try again. It's no good. I'm just not ready yet. But are you going to just give up and let us lose this? No. So you've come to your senses, have you, sir lawyer? I, I ugh, ugh, I can't think of a counterattack at all. Do we not have one or was I just done? Seems the cloud of suspicion surrounding this witness is lifted. Mr. Gatto, if you have anything further to add, then- Whoa, 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 what's this? What? Who? Oh! Hi, darling! What are you doing here? Who are you? That doesn't really matter right now, does it? Misty Light, what are you doing here? Nikki Boy! The thing you've been looking for. I think I found it. She wasn't actually doing errands, was she? She was going to investigate what a good girl I was worried about her. You mean that bag? No, not the bag. What's in the bag? Well, <gasps> there it is! Th that's I mean, it's covered with paint, but that's it. Is it? That's not actually it, though. But that that's not it. It's supposed to say, I am. It's also supposed to have a lot of cracks in it. Uh-oh. The sacred urn! Nick, it's the sacred urn! Are you sure? You don't even know what your own urn looks like? That seems weird. Order, order! You, madam! That urn, where did you find it? You'll never believe it. It was in the office of Mr. Fancy Pants, ace detective, Luke Atme. Oh, Desi, you're the best. Sacred urn updated. But that doesn't look like it, does it? Hmm, that's a bit weird. Well, how do you explain that one, Mr. Atme? Was it actually in there the whole time, and that's why he didn't want us to look in it? But why does the thumbnail look so weird? Even if you are even you are gonna have a hard time weaseling out of this one. What you need? 
Come on, Marvin Gaye, what the hell's the problem now? Ha, huh, pathetic. Mr. Gatto, do you have something to say? Yeah, Your Honor. It simply amazes me how quickly times change. In the old days, a man was to be taken at his word. It's truly sad. You're still denying that Mr. Amy was involved? Before casting aspersions at Detective Amy, consider the young lady here. Your name is Desiree. Desiree Delight, is that correct? Yes. What about it? Whoa. Ha. <laughs> How charming. The lengths that a woman is willing to go to save her husband is truly inspiring. Oh, he's gonna spin that, is he? What are you insinuating? As the wife of the criminal, you could have discovered that stolen urn anywhere. He is right, though, isn't he? Including the office of the good detective here. Unfortunately, I do have to agree that it's too coincidental. So you found the urn. What does it prove? It certainly doesn't prove where the urn was before you found it. What? I just brought it here from the detective's office! Please, madam. This town is already filled to the brim with lies. Any more could only compound the tragedy we have been witness to. You're wrong. I would never, I would never do such a thing. Miss Delight. Please, Nikki boy, you've got to help me talk some sense into these people. There must be some way. I've got to prove that Ern was actually in at the Amity Detective Agency. Okay. What do we have? Testify about what I saw. So sh show fingerprints on the urn. I can't prove anything. Ooh, do we have fingerprints on it? Ooh. Let's try that. I can prove where the urn was. By the fingerprints on it. Fingerprints, eh? Oh, come now. Now you're really making me laugh, Sir Lawyer. Fingerprints indeed. May I go on? Good. Now it would be perfectly understandable if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who was guarding the urn in the first place. In any case, I am always in the habit of wearing gloves, as you can see. So unfortunately, my fingerprints wouldn't be on the evidence of anything. What about it, Mr. Wright? Swiss's fingerprints would mean nothing anyway. I still think we should try. Nick, what are you going to do now? I've come too far to turn back now. Amy must have brought the urn back to his office yesterday. And there, I'm sure someone must have left their fingerprints on it. Defense proposes that the fingerprints of this person should be on the urn. <gasps> oh my god, I know! I know! It's us, isn't it? Because we looked in the bag. We didn't see it right away, but we definitely had our hands on something. Didn't we stick our hands in the bag to feel what it was right as he was coming in? <gasps> Jesus, it just clicked in my mind. Is that gonna get me in trouble? Oh, I don't care. I'm doing it. It's me! Hello? It me? So what is all this fuss about fingerprints anyway? Mr. Atme, do you recall the events of yesterday? Hey, Nick, come on, open it up! Hey, wait a minute, we can't just open his private property! Don't be such a fuddy-duddy, this is an important investigation! Well, what's in there? Hang on a sec, I'm taking it out now. Whoa, <laughs> whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. <laughs> oh yeah, who could forget this tile? <laughs> and then he walks in, of course. We were there, we know. It's true that I didn't get a chance to look in the bag at that time, but I did touch what was inside. Oh my god, screenshot this for posterity later. Ew. <laughs> what? You touched it? Oh my <laughs> And I remember it very well. It was- Oh my- what? Wait, what? This isn't real? Oh, game, you're just handing it to me now. Alright, that's it. I'm screenshotting all these for later. Just check Twitter later. <laughs> oh, oh! Well, oh, that was just... Your Honor, I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on the urn. If my fingerprints are on there, then it proves the urn was in Detective Abney's office. Objection. What you gonna say? Well, even if your fingerprints are on the urn, it still doesn't prove when they were put there, does it? Of course it does. What did you say? Not what I said, it's what Adrian Andrews, the person in charge of the exhibition, said. I polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. That's right, she did. I totally forgot about that as well. If she polished it that much, she must have removed any and all fingerprints on it. 
and the only chance I had to get my fingerprints on it after that was yesterday at the Atme Detective Agency. Ha! Huh. This blend. Goto Blend 107. I've decided. It's a little too bitter after all. Oh no! Oh god, his visor! Jordy, you gotta get it fixed! Order, order, I accept the defense's request. Bailiff, take this urn and shove it. <laughs> Wait a moment, Your Honor. Are you gonna confess? There's no need for that. No need, you say? Precisely. I already know Mr. Wright's fingerprints are on the urn. What are you saying? Yes, I've finally broken him down. How's he gonna spin this? Oh my god, he's playing Guitar Hero. <laughs> he's gone nuts! Take a good look, everyone! What is he- What is this motion? Is he gonna do it again? Oh my god, he's lost it. It also looks real bad. <gasps> Good, you can't do that in court. That's definitely- Oh my god, there he goes, look! No, sir! Don't- No! You can't oak hand and do that in here? God, this is a court of law. Judge Judy would not stand for any kind of fapping up in here. Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown. It literally looks like he's jerking off. I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> this guy is nuttier than a fruitcake. Look away, Maya. This is not for your eyes. You see, it was me all along. I am the one and only Master Mask. Wait, has he really broken? Haha, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed my little performance. <laughs> this can't be right. It's too early. He's gone mental. Well, Mr. Gatto, what's Mr. Atme's condition? He's still in the lobby, laughing insanely, Your Honor. I wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. What? What? What a turn! Wait a minute! Well, it looks like the matter has been settled. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of thief. Nick, you were right after all. Yeah, I guess Mr. Delight really wasn't the thief. Well, then why does he look so sad? <gasps> no! Tell me he's not gonna come up here and shout that he actually did it because he wants to be that person so bad. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. Something's gonna happen. I fucking knew it! Oh, shut up! No, come on, don't do this! You're wrong. Wrong, I tell you. Uh, I mean, not exactly wrong so much, but not exactly right is what I was really trying to say. Oh, no! He's not- This can't be happening, of course, because it can't end this soon. The thief? The sneaky, odious thief who's been stealing all the treasures. It's me! I'm him! I'm the one you want! I'm the thief, I tell you! So do it! Pronounce me guilty, please! What is happening here? No one's gonna believe your ass? I don't know what kind of a kangaroo court you all think this is, but... Oh my god. The true identity of the thief has already been proven. Please hurry and pass judge- What are you talking about? I already confessed! I'm the thief, I tell you! Whoop. What you gonna say now, Jordy LaForge? Did you get your visor fixed? I hope so. Mr. Gatto, don't just stand there drinking coffee! Ha! <laughs> hey there, Mr. Thief! Yes, yes, sir! If you're really a man, then clean up your own mess. I I'm sorry. I'm afraid I just don't have any idea what you mean. If you are masked to mask, then prove it. That's what it means. Yes, sir. I'd be happy to. He says he'll be happy to, Nick. How am I defending this person right now? It's kind of cute. He's 100% committed to his fantasy. Can't we just get this thrown out as like being... As him being like not mentally alright for this? Good boy, just remember one thing. A boy only gets one chance in his life to become a man. I know that. I, I won't fail, I swear. Okay then, talk. We're all listening. Oh well, let's all have a listen to this confession. See, no one's really believing it now, are they? And they shouldn't. Mask to mask identity, what the hell is this gonna be? The truth is, I've been mask to mask all along. I mean, you can't prove that I'm actually not him, can you? I don't have an alibi for the night the urn was stolen, after all. I donned my costume that night and dancingly descended upon the scene of the crime. Look, you can see right there in the photo, that's me. Uh-huh. As for my brooch, I snagged it on the door handle and it got torn off, that's all. Mm-mm, I already see a problem. The alibi thing. We've got definitely something there, because we've got his wallet, don't we? That was dropped at the time of the crime. In the security office, don't we? Mm, I don't like the direction this trial is taking. Yeah, me neither. 
But this is how every trial goes, at least with me ever, anyway. I know, Phoenix, I think you're cursed. I didn't want to say anything before, but I think maybe. You're doing great. <laughs> Stop it, Mr. Goto. You're embarrassing me. Like I said, you're only going to get one chance to testify, all right? But if you make it through this with flying colors, I'll keep my promise, too. <laughs> what promise was that? I'll make sure you stay locked up in prison as the one and only Master Math. Uh-oh. What about your wife? Why are you doing this? What about her if you get locked up in jail? Thanks so much, Mr. Gatto. I'll, I'll do my best. All right, Mr. Wright. I'm afraid it's time for the cross exam. Yeah, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna press that statement immediately. I really want to see if I'm right about this. Unless you guys really want to see me press everything. I wonder if he's gonna have any funny dialogue. Truth is, I've been masked to mask all along. Hmm. You may think you're the real mask to mask, but your wife thinks you're delusional. I haven't told Desi yet about my true identity, I mean. Believe me, I've got my reasons. With the way your room is decked out, how could she not know about it, exactly? Hmm, even thieves have complicated family situations, I suppose. What should I do? It sounds like we're about to get sidetracked again. No, no, no. I'm gonna leave that. I really want to get to that third statement. There's no point in digging through any more of their dirty laundry. Well, why don't you continue? I mean, you can't prove that I'm not actually mask to mask, can you? Well, I guess not. Um, I thought you were going to be the one to show us the proof. You know, that you're the real mask to mask, and not just some kind of obsessed fanboy. Hey now, that's not fair. Why do I have to do all the hard work anyway? Maybe because you're the one making the outrageous claim. Yeah, really. Come on, Nick. You know that Mr. Delight couldn't have committed the crime. I know, he probably couldn't even have lifted that sword. You're the one with the fancy law degree. It's time to put it to work already. Wow, Maya, really? I need some kind of proof that Ron couldn't possibly be mask to mask. Well, I guess if you had that kind of proof, we wouldn't still be in here, would we? For the time being, maybe I need to shift strategy. I should try to show that Mr. Light couldn't have stolen the urn. All right. Anyway, I... I think this is what we want right here. I don't have an alibi for the night the urn was stolen, but but we do. With, with the wallet, right? Found in the KB security building around 1 a.m. the night of the crime. This is it. It has to be. Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? Oh, yeah, it does. I had lost it somewhere. Mr. Wright, when you find a wallet, you should report it to the police right away. Oh, no, you don't understand. This is an important piece of evidence. Evidence? Mr. Delight, when did you first notice that you'd lost your wallet? Oh, let's see. I think it was on the night of the crime. But I know I still had it when Desi and I went out for dinner. This wallet was found at approximately 1 a.m. at KB Security Headquarters. What? Surely you're not serious. Yes, I am serious. This proves that Mr. Delight was in fact at KB Security that night. No! I don't understand what his problem is, he must be mental. So if the defendant was at KB Security at 1 o'clock in the morning, then that proves that he has a watertight alibi. No! Furthermore, considering the distance between Lordly Taylor and KB Security, it would have taken 30 minutes to get there by car. That's right. Thanks, Larry, for that piece of info. Well, Mr. Gatto, do you have anything to say? Nope. Just sipping away. And stop drinking that coffee. You're gonna die drinking that much shit. Holy crap, you're gonna have a heart attack. Come on, Mr. Thief, don't let this guy beat you. Tell him why he's wrong. You're the only one who calls me Thief, Mr. Gatto. All right, I'll try. Uh, I'll do what I will. He's really got Mr. Delight all worked up. Yeah, he's like a kid at his first day of school. Look, it's just ridiculous. Why would I have dropped my wallet at KB Security? Someone must have planted it there to make it look like it was there and not the heist. Planted it there? He's really reaching now. Mr. Delight? You probably dropped your wallet when you took it out to use this, didn't you? Yeah, we have the key card as well. The key card to the KB Security CEO office. No! Ha! That was a pretty good try, Mr. Trite. Unfortunately, you've overlooked one small thing. What? Motive, of course. Why would this thief go to KB Security in the middle of the night anyway? Because he works there! Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, it looks like you need some more evidence after all. Hmm. The stupid kid. Now then, let's see your evidence. The evidence that shows why Mr. Delight went to KB Security at 1 a.m. the night. Now, here's what I'm thinking. It's either... Oh, wait, what about this, though? Ooh, 
Is this what it's tying into? Can I look at this again? Written with a fountain pen found in Ron's room. Yeah. Come to KB Security at 1 a.m. And bring this. This is it. This is it. I didn't really put it together until then, because I was like, wait a minute, okay, so he's got to go bring a ransom, but yeah, this is this is absolutely it. Mr. Delight, I believe you've seen this before, correct? Uh, that's... What is it? A blackmail letter. That's what it looks like from the contents. Blackmail? Yes. Basically, it says, bring $50,000. Hmm. That certainly sounds like a blackmail, all right. At the time of the theft, Mr. Delight was dealing with the blackmailer himself. In KB Security's CEO office, a full half an hour away from the scene of the crime. Oh god, Cyclops, we gotta get that fixed. Maybe your ruby quartz is all damaged, dude. Oh my god. How can you say no while you're drinking? What are you, a ventriloquist or something? He's gonna have a, he's gonna have some major heart problems <laughs> drinking all that coffee. So when the theft of the urn occurred, the defendant was at KB Security? It looks like a perfect case for the defense. Objection. You may see it as a perfect case, Judge, but to me... Oh my god, stop drinking. Well, let's just say that my Goto Blend 107 impresses me a lot more. Maybe you should go to the bathroom. I can only imagine how bad you have to pee. What are you trying to say? You say the thief was being blackmailed by the CEO of a security company. But, did you actually investigate the CEO at all? Huh? Well, uh, no, I guess not. We didn't really have time. Accusing a man of blackmail with no proof? I'm not sure what I think of that. I'm not sure what I think of that. At least I know what I think of you. Hmm, good point. I'm not sure what I think of it myself. You claim the defendant entered the CEO's office, but you will need at least one witness to cry- Oh, we do! Larry, I bet! Nick, I think we're going to have to track down the CEO guy. No, we don't have to track down the CEO at all. What do you mean by that, Mr. Trite? There is someone else who can testify. Mm-hmm. This is the person that can testify. The keycard was used at 1 a.m. that night. Larry, thank God you actually have a use. Ugh. He was there, he picked up the wallet. Who is this useless looking young man? Oh no. <laughs> he does have a useless face, doesn't he? You don't remember him, your honor? Hmm, not exactly. But just looking at his picture makes the bile start to rise in my throat. Ew. It looks like he doesn't remember the case from two years ago. Probably blocked out that memory on purpose. God, I almost did to myself. Anyway, this man was working as a guard at KB Security that night. Oh? The question at hand is this key card. Yeah, that's the keycard they use in the building I work. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. You need it to get into that room and every time you use that card it leaves a record. Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Hmm. So we're gonna have to get that record, I, I, I think. As you can see, there's no need to investigate the CEO of KB Security. We should be able to discover the truth simply by analyzing the keycard's data. Oh boy. You're smoking a little bit there, buddy. Need to plug in. Oh! Bleh. What happened? What was it, pee? Someone finally slipped it to you? I'm not surprised. Everything tastes like pee to me now. <laughs> Who went wee-wee in my canteen? <laughs> oh my god, that is a reference no one's gonna get. Well, Mr. Gatto? The name of the CEO KB Security is Kane Bullard. I was unable to contact him directly, but I got the keycard data here. So what does it show? Each keycard has its own serial number, and they leave detailed records of their use. According to this data, this card was used at 1 a.m. on the morning of the crime. Alright. Well, that helps, doesn't it? But that means it can't be Mr. Delight dressed as Master Mask in this photo. Ha! <laughs> looks like you're right. Two minutes isn't even enough time to brew a good cup of joe. So, so then? Ron Delight was clearly in the office of KB Security CEO at the time of the crime. Prosecutor's office is ready to admit that fact. Therefore, it's impossible for the defendant to be masked to mask. Good job! You did it, Nick! Wait, it can't be over! That's enough! I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of thief. What's wrong, Your Honor? I'm ready to pass judgment. But before I do that, do you have any further objections? No, Your Honor. Huh. Uh, why did he want to be convicted, though? Are we going to find that out? This seems strange. It can't end this soon. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. Not guilty. Wait a minute. This can't be over now. Oh my god, 40 minutes. Don't worry, guys. I told you I'd have one. 
here and there. Court is now adjourned. That, that can't be it. What the hell? Are we gonna get? Are, are we gonna get a to be continued? We need, we need one. <laughs> oh, this music. Oh, Nick, you did it. You were right after all. Actually, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Nikki boy! Oh, Miss Delight. I knew you could do it. I believed in you all along, Nikki boy. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Oh, shucks. You helped a lot, too. You got that earned for us, and I was here, like, suspecting you of all people. Congratulations, Mr. Nick. This is ending like it's actually ending, you guys. I'm not ready for this. Oh, Pearls. I've got a bad feeling about this. <gasps> Who is this woman? Oh, she she's nobody. She's just, uh... You're blushing! How dare you do this in front of Mystic Maya! You should be ashamed of your- Did she just slap me? Oh my god, yeah, oh, she slapped me! Pearl! Um, Pearly? This woman is Miss Desiree Delight. She's our client's wife! <gasps> Mr. Nick! Yes? You're even worse than I thought! Oh my god, going behind the back of your own client! No, you've got it all wrong! I'll never forgive you! Ow! A double slap. Oh my Christ. Well, anyway, all's well that ends well, right? Uh, this doesn't seem right at all. We got the sacred urn back and the thief has been caught. You're so right. And it's all thanks to Nikki Boy here. It actually was you, Miss Delight, that brought us the urn back. But it didn't look right today. It's still bothering me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, uh, please. You're embarrassing me. If we won the case... And why does this guy still look so glum? Because he wanted to be masked and masked. But I am the thief. Actually, what's the point? What is it, honey? I did my best for you, Ronnie. I know that, and I appreciate it, Desi. But the thing is... Come on, give the kids some time. What? Oh, hello. He's got a little touch of the blues. You know about feeling blue, right, amigo? Mr. Gatto, what are you doing here? Ah, oh, come on. I just came here to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trite. Maybe you should learn my name before you call me Buddy. Look at that smile. What a what a dude. Well, playtime's over. Huh? Early this morning, the body of Kane Bullard was discovered. The CEO? Kane Bullard? Where have I heard that name before? Isn't that the name of the CEO at KB Security? Body? The estimated time of death was 1 a.m. on October 12th. 1 a.m.? You don't mean... That's right, amigo. At the same time a cheap little urn was being stolen, the CEO of KB Security was being murdered. So then, what are you doing here? Oh, come on. you figured it out already, haven't you, amigo? Or have you already forgotten about that piece of info I helped you out with today? Helped me out? What? On October 12th at 1 o'clock in the morning, Ron Delight was in the CEO's office, the scene of the murder. After getting that blackmail letter, he must have been imbrued with utter rage. Doesn't seem like it's possible for him to have that, but whatever. What are you saying? Come on, don't tell me you didn't know it. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. An employee of KB Security? It looks like the alibi that saved him from being convicted as a thief is gonna be the noose that gets him hanged kind of an anti-alibi. Is that why he wanted the thief sentence? Because it would be less than murder? He can't be the thief. Because he was at the murder scene when the murder occurred. No, that's a lie. It can't be true. Oh, oh, but I, I am a thief, I tell you. Ron Delight, you're going back to prison again. This time, the charge is much more serious. This time, you'll be tried for murder. I knew this wasn't over. It was too strange. This can't be! I'm looking forward to another exciting showdown, Mr. Trite. Oh my god. You and I aren't through with each other yet. Alright, my place tonight? Oh. Surely you won't back down from a challenge. You've never been a coward. Mr. Nick, is there something personal between you two? Yeah, don't look. I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. At least let me have some fun while I'm here. What the hell does that mean? I guess we'll find out. This guy, who the heck is he? He may be quiet, but he's the most dangerous enemy I've ever faced. Well then, time to say goodbye to Mr. Delight. Bye! Didn't help me one bit. Jesus, this is crazy! Nick, how could this be happening? Right in front of our very eyes, our client has been arrested for murder. And the one who established his presence at the scene was me. And his wife. 
Ronnie! Oh dear, this is bad. Arrested for murder on the very same day he's declared innocent of larceny. What the heck's gonna happen next? I don't know! Oh, thank God! Okay. <laughs> this is so crazy! Oh, well now I can't wait! The next one's gotta be investigation. Oh, this is nuts and I love it. I love you guys too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it even a little and you could give me a like on the video, that would be so, so great. It really helps me. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!